Good morning everyone. Welcome back to grade 4 mathematics class. How are you all doing today? So today we'll learn a different method to multiply numbers. Look at this example. Multiply 34 by 6. So how do you usually multiply these numbers? We write the numbers column wise. Then you proceed with the multiplication of place values of the multiplier with each digit of the multiplicand, right? So let's learn a different method today. So we know it's easier to multiply numbers when you are multiplying with 10, 100, thousands, so on, and the multiples of these. When you have zeros uh, in the lower places, it's easier to find the product, right? So we have learned that earlier. So with that in mind, let's split this 34 into two. So 34 can be split into 30 plus 4, right? So once you split that, we are going to make a grid. Now, 34 is equal to 30 plus 4. I'm going to write this 34 plus 30 plus 4 in this way. I've written 30 here. I left a space. I wrote 4 there. Then I'm going to draw a grid. And I'm going to write this 6 here. Now, here we have the grid. Do you see this pattern of straight lines which cross each other to form boxes? This pattern is called a grid. Okay. Now, we are going to multiply this with each of these numbers. 6 into 30, what is it? It is 180. 6 threes are 18. Then we put the 0 to the right. So, 6 into 30 is 180. Now, 6 into 4, what is it? 24. So, we have two products here. How do we get the final product? We are going to add these two products. So, we are going to add 180 plus 24. What is 180 plus 24? 180 plus 24 is equal to 204. So, that will be the answer to 34 into 6. First, you split the number 30 plus 4. Then, you draw the numbers in a grid. Then, you multiply each number and you add up all the products that you get. And the final answer would be the result to 34 into 6. So, that was a multiplication of a two digit number by a one digit number, right? So, here in this example, we'll see a two digit number multiplied by a two digit number. So, in this case, let's multiply each of these numbers into 2. So, 13 can be written as 10 plus 3, right? And 42 can be written as 40 plus 2. Now, let's draw the grid. So, 13 can be written as 10 and 3 here and 40 is written as 40 and 2. Here we have 2 rows. Now 40 into 10 is 400. 40 into 3 is 120. Now 2 into 10 is 20. Now 2 into 3 is 6. Now what you have to do? You have to add up all these products to get the final product. So here is 20, here is 6. So here 400 plus 20 is 420 and here it is 126. Adding all these will give you how much? 400 plus 120 plus 20 plus 6 is equal to 546. So that will be the answer to 13 into 42. Clear? Let's do an activity now. You can go through the topic in page number 41 of your textbook. Go through that. Then who want to exercise 3.3? .3. You have to do question number 2. Multiply using grids. You have to do the first three questions. A, B and C. You can pause the video, finish the activity and come back. Hope you have done with that activity. Now let's see the 
answers the first question 29 into 8 let's see how we can split 29 29 can be split into 20 plus 9 right so let's draw the grid now it's 20 and 9 now you have to multiply it with 8 so 8 into 20 it is 160 and 8 into 9 is 72 now let's add up the two products to get the final answer so it's 0 1s plus 2 ones then it would be 2 6 plus 7 it would be 13 carry over 1 here 1 plus 1 2 so what is the answer here here it is 232 let's see the next one question b 5, 54 into 6. Let's see how we can split 54. It's 54 can be written as, in terms of multiples of 10, can be written as 50 plus 4. So let's draw the grid 50 and 4 here. Then what is the multiplicands? 6. So 6 times 50. 6 into 5 is 30. Then that's 0 here. 6 into 4 is 24. So let's add up these two numbers which will give you how much 300 plus 24 is 324. So I hope your answers are correct. Now let's see the next question. Question C 31 into 14. Let's see how we can split 31. 31 can be split into 30 plus 1. So let's draw the grid for that. Now 14 how we can split 14. 14 can be split into 14 is equal to 10 plus 4, right? So let's write 10 here and 4 here. Let's complete the grid. It's 10 into 30, 300 here and 10 into 1, it is 10. 4 into 30, it's 120 and 4 into 1, it's 4. So here it is 300 plus 120 is 420 plus 10 plus 4, it is 14. So here the answer is 434. I hope your answer to question C was also correct. Now, we can go through the topic once again to get it more clear. And you have to complete the questions from exercise 3.3. That is questions 2D to 2L. These questions. So that's all for today. We'll meet in the next class with a new topic. Until then, bye.